When you're talking to a professional audio engineer, they will usually tell you that it is impossible to mix with headphones. And the reason for that is because you need the experience of a real room in order to fully understand how your audio or how your sound is perceived by the listener in an actual listening experience. However, over the last couple of years, a number of plugins came out uh, that tried to recreate that experience in a real mix room over headphones. The way they usually work is by doing some sort of binaural rendering so that you get a fully three-dimensional immersive experience over headphones. Now, a couple of those plugins are really good, so I felt it is time to create a video that talks about my favorite mixing with headphones plugins. So let's get started. But first of all, hello everybody. In case you're new here, my name is Michael Wagner. I teach at the Antoinette Westfall College of Media Arts and Design at Drexel University in Philadelphia. And on this channel, I talk about digital media, game design and spatial audio. And if any of those topics interest you, I invite you to subscribe or join my Discord community. Invite link is in the description below. And uh, since you're already at it, also please don't forget to press the like button, especially if you get any value out of my videos. It really helps out the channel and it makes my videos more visible to other people. Thank you. Before I get started, a word of warning and a disclaimer. Let's start with the disclaimer. Now, as always, my videos are not sponsored at all. That essentially means that everything that I'm going to say is strictly my own opinion. Nobody paid me to say anything. I paid for all the plugins that I'm going to show you with my own money. So this is strictly my own opinion. And that also leads me to my word of warning. It is my opinion. And that essentially means that you might differ from my opinion. You might kind of find other plugins more interesting than the ones that I'm showing, or you might not agree with my ranking. If that's the case, please leave a message in the comment section below or kind of message me on Discord. I'd like to hear about your opinions, but these are mine and uh, take them as they are. And finally, I also need to point out the obvious. Now, these are all plugins that are recreating a mix from experience in your headphones. And that essentially means that you need to listen to this video with headphones. If you are listening to it on a regular system or on your TV or your, on your phone um, without any headphones, you might not get the experience. And some of the things that I'm going to show you might sound weird. It really needs to be listened to on headphones. So uh, just be aware of that. Now this is a ranked list and my number one choice might actually surprise you. So stick around until the end to find out what I really like the best when it comes to these types of plugins. And uh, with that being said, let's get started with number five. My number five choice is the HPL2 processor from Novo Notes. This is actually a plugin that I added to my collection fairly recently. And I really like the way it sounds. So uh, let's have a listen. And the way I'm going to do this video today is that I have a, a very brief loop that I created. Um, so not a particularly good loop, but it's good enough for what we're doing here. And uh, I'm going to simply kind of uh, show you how the uh, audio sounds with and without that uh, processor turned on. So let's first listen to the loop without the HBL2 processor turned on. And uh, let's turn it on and let's, uh, I'm going to switch between on and off uh, a, a couple of times so that you have some idea on how the difference sounds. So let's, let's do that. So let's turn it on. Now, if you're listening to this on headphones, you immediately recognize how the sound opens up and how you're suddenly feeling of being engulfed in the sound. It's no longer something that comes into your ears from your left and your right speakers. It's something that really kind of surrounds you. So this is on. This is off. On. And off. Now, the reason I like this plugin is primarily because of its simplicity. It does one thing, and it does this one thing really, really well. It turns your stereo audio into binaural audio and gives you the impression that you're surrounded by your sound, like you would be in a regular mix room. Now, in contrast to some of the other plugins that I'm going to show you later, this one does not do any correction for the headphones that you're using. So there is no frequency correction that, you're, that is done here. If you want to do that, you can simply add another plugin uh, into the plugin chain. So for example, you could use Sonarworks to do any frequency correction for your particular headphones. This plugin doesn't do that. And I think that's actually a good thing uh, because it really kind of focuses the, the purpose of this plugin to this one thing. Uh, and this one thing only. 
Number four on my list is Waves and X, and in particular the Abbey Road Studio version of Waves and X. Now, if you're familiar with Waves and X, it comes in a range of different versions. There are different mixing rooms, and there's also a generic version that you can use. The reason I am preferring Abbey Road Studio 3 is simply because it is one uh, that also allows you to listen to surround sound. So it has a surround sound option, a 7.1 surround sound option to be exact. So let's have a listen on how that actually sounds. Let's first listen to it without the plugin enabled and then let's turn it on now there are different options that you have you can uh, listen to the near field speakers the mid or the far now, in contrast to uh, some of the other plugins, uh, this also has the option to, of doing head tracking. So what you could do, and that is particularly useful if you're working with surround sound, uh, you can use a head tracker like this one here, which is the Waves and X head tracker. You can put it on your on your headphones, and then the plugin will actually track the position of your head and give you the correct impression uh, with respect to your position of your head. Uh, this, this is actually really useful, and if you've been watching my channel for quite some time, you know that I did a number of videos on how to do head tracking in different environments. I invite you to watch those. I might actually put a couple of links in the description below. Now, the other thing that this plugin does is uh, that it allows you to add a headphone IQ. So you can actually do the headphone IQ within the plugin and you don't need to add something like Sonarworks. And uh, if you're in possession of one of the headphones that uh, they provide an EQ for, you can simply kind of select that. In my particular case, it is actually a Focal. Let me just see if they have that, a Focal. Uh, and I have the Elegia. Hey, who would have thought? So this is mine. And uh, you can simply use that uh, that way and you don't have to add um, Sonarworks or anything else. And uh, it also gives you a couple of options in terms of head modeling. So this is also nice. So you can actually do some customization in terms of your head specifications to uh, optimize the quality of your binaural rendering. And overall, this is actually a really good solution, especially if you're interested in anything that goes beyond stereo and if you're interested in head tracking or adding head tracking to this particular type of plugins that's actually a good solution to do that number three on the list is earcom here from earcom tools um, I hope I pronounced it correctly. I've actually never <laughs> tried to pronounce their name. Uh, it is distributed through Flux Audio. I'm going to post a link in the description below. And the nice thing about this particular plugin is that it allows you to actually rearrange the channel. So if you're, for example, in a situation where you have a uh, layout, a speaker layout that, that is not stereo, but actually kind of is a surround sound speaker layout, and the speaker layout doesn't really match uh, your particular setup, then you can actually kind of change the, uh, the layout here. And that's actually really nice. And here's a, a couple of other other basic options, um, but it is uh, similar to the um, Novo Notes plugin that I showed at the very beginning, a very bare bones plugin. So let's just have a listen on how it sounds. First of all, uh, again, without the plugin enabled. And then let's enable it. Now, similar to the other plugins, this actually gives you a very good impression. It really is a, a matter of preference, to be perfectly honest. Many of these plugins sound very, very similar, and they all have the same uh, concept that they use a binaural rendering in order to kind of turn your stereo audio into something that sounds immersive. And uh, it is a little bit a question of preference. I actually like that in particular because of its ability to rearrange channels. So this is something that can come in very handy when you're working with surround sound. Number two on my list is a plugin that has become a standard plugin in my plugin chain cut, frankly. Uh, it is my favorite in terms of actually recreating a full mix room. Uh, you might f kind of think, why is it only two if it's your favorite? Well, that has a particular reason. But essentially, if it comes to really recreating the experience in the mixing room, this is my favorite one, and that is Stephen Slate's VSX. Now, the nice thing about this, and I'm already doing something that you shouldn't do, it actually it needs to be used with uh, the Stephen Slate's headphones. And these are actually really, really nice. And that's actually one of the reasons also why I like this so much. Uh, these are very compact um, and really, really good. So um, they are perfect for travel. So if you are traveling, around this is actually a really really nice solution and uh, the fact that they uh, come with uh, that, that this plugin comes with its own headphones means that uh, it is really optimized for that particular purpose and you are getting the best sound possible now uh, I'm I'm only going to use it with my headphones I, I'm, I'm too lazy to kind of switch things around here but uh, just let's have a listen on how this thing sounds so this is with uh, Stephen Slate on this is the original signal 
let's turn it on again. Now the nice thing about this one is that you can actually switch the, to different uh, rooms. Um, so let's switch the speakers, for example, to near field. Now if you're listening to that on headphones, that is actually very impressive. The way kind of you switch from midfield to, um, to near field, kind of you immediately hear how everything kind of comes down. That, that is very, very impressive. Or far field. And you have different rooms that you can choose from. And it's actually a really, really nice solution. So um, first, I was very suspicious because so many people kind of spoke so highly about it. And you always get a little bit suspicious about that because that might mean there's some uh, serious uh, sponsoring money behind. But it actually turns out to be a really, really nice plugin. So if you are interested in any sort of mixed room sol solution that is really complete in that sense, um, that it actually recreates a mixing room environment, um, that is a good solution. Once again, it comes with its own headphones. These headphones are very compact, very very good for traveling and uh, and and really nice and uh, sound sound extremely extremely good. Now, one thing that this plugin doesn't do is it doesn't do any head tracking. That is a little bit unfortunate because uh, that for me would be the perfect solution. You know, Stephen Slate's VSX plus head tracking. And I'm actually going to do a video about that. So in one of the next weeks, I'm going to release a video on how you can actually add head trackings to Stephen Slate. It's a little bit of a hack, but it's actually an interesting hack. And I figured it might make sense to kind of show you how you can actually do that if you want to. But uh, once again, even without the head tracking, this is a really, really nice plugin. Now, before I go to my personal number one, I'd like to make one honorary mention, and that is DVR Monitor. Now, there's also a stereo-only version that is called DVR Mix. Either one works fine if you're working with stereo. The DVR Monitor version also has the capability of working with surround sound and higher channel counts, but they essentially work in exactly the same way. Uh, the stereo-only version is just a little bit cheaper and only limited to stereo. So let's have a listen on how that sounds. Um, once again, first, uh, without the plugin enabled. And then let's turn the plugin on. Now, similar to some of the other plugins, you have options of choosing different mixing room environments, and you can also kind of change the, the level of ambience that you have and, and all kinds of things. So, it is actually a really, really nice uh, plugin. Why is it only a Honorary mention on my list. Well, that is simply because I actually like the other plugins better. So it is it is a good choice. So if you, for example, if you have a plugin alliance subscription where this is actually part of, um, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I think I think uh, that's all you really need. But I find the other plugins a little bit better, particularly at, at least to my ears, they, they, they sound better. But this is an, an excellent choice if you if you uh, if you have access to it. Um, you know, kind of uh, certainly something I recommend uh, using. And this brings me to my top choice, and this is Can Open a Studio from Goodhertz. Now, if you're one of my regular viewers, you're probably surprised by that choice because Can Opener isn't really a fully binaural rendering plugin. All it really does is it mimics the crossfeed that you're getting when you're listening to regular speakers. And by crossfeed, essentially mean that when you're listening to regular speakers, um, you will hear the left speaker on both ears, not only on your left ear, and you will hear the right speakers on both ears, not only on your left ear. And Can Open a Studio essentially does exactly that. It kind of puts a little bit of your left of the left channel into the right ear, a little bit of the right channel into the left ear, and it does that in a very intelligent way so that you're getting a really, really immersive experience. But because it doesn't do any full head-related transfer function stuff, not any fully binaural rendering thing, uh, it does not really change the sound signature of your audio at all. And that is something that I really enjoy. So, so let's have a listen on how that actually sounds. So let's first listen to it with the plugin disabled. And then let's turn the plugin on. So what this plugin really does is it just opens up the space a little and it gives you the impression of being in a three-dimensional space without changing the sound signature. And I find that this particular type of plugin works best for my particular workflow um, because it doesn't really kind of change anything that I hear. It just changes the way the audio is distributed through left and right speakers. And I find that particularly enjoyable to work with. So these were my five top uh, mixing with headphones plugins. Um, let me know if you agree with my selection. Let me know if I uh, missed anything. Let me know if you disagree in the comment section or kind of also join my Discord community once again. 
invite link is in the description below. I would really like to hear from you, especially if you think there are any plugins that I missed, um, because I always like to learn about new plugins. So if you know anything that maybe nobody else knows, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, with that being said, see you at the next video.